Okay, we have three more area problems here, so of course I will sketch. So let's start with the first guy, which is above by sine and below by cosine. So um, cosine is going to look like that, and then sine is going to look like this, if I do my best at getting that to work. So this here is where pi over 4 is. And then this here is where 5 pi over 4 is, because the two curves do intersect at pi over 4 and 5 pi over 4. So I have pi over 4 to 5 pi over 4. And then look what happens that makes us happy, is that the sine curve is always on top, yay, and the cosine curve is always the bottom curve. Makes our lives easier. So sine integrates to negative cosine, and negative cosine integrates to negative sine. And again, from pi over 4 to 5 pi over 4, let's evaluate. So cosine of 5 pi over 4 is going to be a negative rad 2 over 2, but I already had a negative sign, so I have to make it positive. Minus sine will be also a negative rad 2 over 2, also have to make it positive because of the negative sign there. Now subtract out cosine of pi over 4 is rad 2 over 2, so make that negative and sine of pi over 4 is rad 2 over 2, so that also stays negative. But when I distribute this negative sign right here, these all turn positive. So having rad 2 plus rad 2, well that's 2 times rad 2 over 2, which is just rad 2. And here, same thing, so I'm dealing with rad 2 plus rad 2. My answer is A. All right, let's try the next one, and I do need to copy this to the next page. I'm going to do it twice now that I'm learning my lesson that I need one page for each of these. And here we go with number nine, oh, excuse me, number 10. And let me give myself more space just in case I need it. Okay, the curve of cotangent. I've got to remember what that looks like. I do remember that there is an asymptote at pi and at zero. And they told us the line pi over 4, which will be right here, and the x-axis. And if I recall correctly, cotangent works exactly the opposite of tangent. So it's a decreasing curve, like so, and it should intersect the x-axis at pi over 2. So we actually have this little section right here is going to be our area. So it's below cotangent and it's going to be from uh, pi over 4 to pi over 2. Now, some of you, I don't know, I was going to say some of you might have memorized how to integrate cotangent, but I don't. So I rewrite cotangent as cosine over sine, because then I can do u substitution with my u as sine and my du as cosine. So what I've really got here is the integral of 1 over u du, which integrates to the natural log of the absolute value of u. Um, and I don't need a plus c here, but I do need to replace my u with my sine of x. And then I evaluate from pi over 4 to pi over 2. So that gives me the natural log of the sine of pi over 2, which is 1 minus the natural log of the sine of pi over 4, which is the square root of 2 over 2. Now, the natural log of 1 is 0, so that goes away. So then I think we have to figure out which one of these we match to, and that's always interesting. So would you agree that rad 2 over 2 is the same thing as 1 over rad 2? And then 1 over rad 2 is the same thing as Let's see, I'm trying to write, oh, I'm trying to write to make this clear. <coughs> I have a negative and then two to the negative one half is how I could write that. And then I could use the strategy of bringing down the exponent to get one half times the natural log of two. That makes my answer D.